we humans tend to experience fatigue. For example, when the evening draws near, we start to get drowsy or sleepy. Or if we're driving for a long period of time, we might get dozy. Or even if we go to church, we may just nod off. When we're watching TV, we may even fall asleep. So how can we stay more alert and more awake? Well, we can do so by moving around, maybe going for a walk, even opening a window and getting some fresh air. Or how about a coffee? That tends to wake us up. Or when we need to wake up from our sleep, we can use an alarm clock. Sometimes getting sleepy or drowsy can cause bad consequences, like a car accident, or oversleeping and not getting up for work and getting fired from your job. So this kind of reminds me of today's gospel. In the gospel, Jesus warns us that we need to stay awake and stay alert. Not physically awake and alert. He's talking about spiritually awake and alert. As people, we have our faith, but we tend to let our faith weaken, and then we try to re-strengthen it. People may go to church and then start skipping here and there because they're sleeping. People pray, and the faithful pray every day, but then we might decide, oh, we don't have time to pray today, and we skip that because we're sleeping. People even go to church, but they simply sit there and go through the routine, and they go because it's habit. They say the words, but don't feel any of that inspiration or the fire in their hearts or the spirits. They just sit there and go through it, and their spirit is asleep. And having a sleepy spirit can cause bad consequences for us. We can become weak in our faith. We miss seeing Jesus as he appears in our everyday life. And we may even overlook him or not see him when he really does come again. So how can we be more spiritually awake, more spiritually alert? Well, I think we need to just try harder when we pray. To not simply recite the words but to pray from our hearts. When we go to Mass, we shouldn't just sit there. We should get involved and be connected with the Mass and really pray from our hearts. And we also need to be motivated to help other people because Jesus is in each one of those people. Today, Paul gives us a really good example in the second reading. He writes, It is important for us to throw out our works of darkness. And that means our habits that we get into. We need to change those and not sin any longer. By doing some of these things, we can become more spiritually awake for sure. And for sure we'll notice that Jesus is already here. In the Eucharist. In our prayers. Through every person that we meet. And yes, it will help us be ready for when Jesus' second coming. Thank you. And God bless you.